Hi everyone, this is Megan, and I just really quick, well, it's probably not going to be quick, um, wanted to do a video on how I mix my resin, and then I had some people ask me how the vacuum chamber worked, so I thought I'd show you. Much easier to show than explain with that. So, I have my resin here. It's that Famo wood, which actually I really like. It, um... It's a lot thinner than Envirotex, which is great because it still cuts down on the bubbles. So even though I'm using a vacuum chamber, so um, I have my I have two of these clear cups here. I have two um, measuring little measuring cups, and I had bought a case of these. Oh gosh. Back in 2002, I think it was, um, when I was making custom Italian charms, I made them for like five years. So, um, and I still have some left, so if anybody ever buys a case, you'll have them forever. So, and I have some mixing sticks and a pen. And I know from experience now that I can only put, um, was it six? No, four um, tablespoons in these cups. So it um, won't overflow in the um, chamber because as the bubbles come up, it expands. So I'm going to mark. This is hard to do around a camera, but I mark one tablespoon on there, and actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't really have that much resin to pour, so normally I would get my husband in here, and he would, we would do two big cups, but it's hard to measure and stir both at the same time, so... What I like to do is I already know my surface is level, and I actually keep a level in this room just to make sure, so. And my phone, when it's not hooked up to the tripod, has a level in it, so. I pour. And then, and I keep my resin and hardener separate for now. Now I'll probably just make four and pray that doesn't pour over. So normally I would clean off the top, but I'm trying to make this a little quicker. So and you try to get as much as you can off the edges. And then I just discard this one. Now that was part B. This is part A, and if I had any color, I would mix it in the cup along with the resin. But since I'm just doing a top pour and I really want the um, glitter to show through, I am just going to mix up some clear. So. That's one, and I'm 
That's two. I'm actually a little, I don't know, perfectionistic about this because don't you hate when you get to the mold the very next day and it hasn't hardened yet? I hate that. And you got a big old mess on your hands. So here's the two poured. And I actually discard these. Actually, these, you sh I probably should be mixing with something um, plastic because wood has water in it. I mean, it's still got water in its, you know, it's not totally dried out. And water inhibits resin um, curing. So then I just pour. as much as I can get out of here and um, you could really whip this with the chamber but it takes a little longer than in the chamber to get all the bubbles out so I still try to be a little gentle and you want to scrape the sides make sure you're getting all the resin off the sides so you can incorporate it into the mix and I mix this probably about a minute and then what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll pour it back into the other cup and then mix it until it's thoroughly clear with none of those like I don't know hazes still left in the mix so when I get done with that I will pick back up and I'll show you how the vacuum chamber works it might be in a part two so